Hey guys and welcome! Today is yet another requested video and I've said it a thousand times before but I absolutely love doing requested videos. They're my favorite thing to do because you guys have a way of thinking up ideas for videos that I never could. So if you have any requests just put them right down in the comment section. I would be more than happy to do them if I'm capable of course. Today we're going to have a look at how to deal with feeder rodents such as mice or rats because as a new snake owner or even as someone who has owned snakes for uh, a period of time it can be a bit difficult a bit challenging to be dealing with having to feed with these rodents when you have a snake of course you have to feed it the snake do not have an option to go full-on vegetarian and there isn't any pre-prepared food like there is with cats and dogs so you're really left with the option of feeding it these frozen rodents in general what most people use are either frozen rats or frozen mice there is other options as well you can feed with uh, chickens and rabbits and all that stuff but in general and it is also most easy to feed with just the mice and rats and that is because that they are very easy to breed and they're very easy for you to get your hands on when feeding a snake there are two ways you can feed them you can feed either live or you can feed it dead that's pretty much it I always recommend that you feed dead because if you're feeding live first of all you're stressing the mouse incredible you are in the risk of the snake to get a bite and it's just cruel and unnecessarily so if you have the option always go with feeding dead of course there are some snakes who simply just want won't take that and you have to feed it live but it is possible to transitioning them from live to dead so if you have the option to do that you definitely should unless you're buying the mice or rat alive or if you're breeding yourself you will most likely buy them in frozen and they will look something like this often they are packed uh, several of them in one bag together when you're looking at a mice or rat like this it can be uncomfortable I totally understand that it took some time for me to get used to you actually feeding with what looked like a live animal but you know it was dead if that makes any sense when you go down to the grocery store and you look at meat like there you're not looking at a cow like a cow would look but when you're looking at this you're looking at a mice or rat like it would look just when it was alive it's totally okay for you to feel uncomfortable with this situation like I said before I did as well but you have to understand that that's just how it is we don't yet have the option for the snake to have this pre-prepared food actually I think there is I saw like a sausage somewhere online but I'm not sure how widely spread that is but for now you really have to deal with it it is uncomfortable it's okay to be uncomfortable with it and you really need to accept that part once you've accepted that it is uncomfortable and it's okay you can move on to the second part and that is really realizing that there is a circle of life the snake needs to eat and that's just how it is you as an owner have the responsibility to feed your snake so you simply have to do this I have gathered three tips that I think would have been beneficial for me to know when I got my first snake and had to feed it and it might be of some help to you as well tip number one is something that I just talked about before as well but I want to make it clear again it is that you have to understand that that's life that's the circle of life the snake has to eat just as the mice or rat has to eat that's just how it is Tip number two is to try not to personify the rat or the rodent too much. If you look at it and you get all these warm fuzzy feelings about it, it might be even more difficult. So you really have to be able to distance yourself, even though it is uncomfortable, I know it is, but it is dead, you have to distance yourself from it and look at it as what it is, food for your snake. Tip number three comes to when you are feeding because when your snake strikes and it starts to curl it can look a bit brutal for this poor rodent and you can see it just being squashed you know um, try not to look too much at the rodent look at your snake instead and be happy that your snake is eating and it is feeding And to just sum it all up, it's okay to be uncomfortable. I know it's not nice to look at, but you really just have to deal with it. If you are going to be a reptile owner, a snake owner, you will have to be able to feed your snakes, mice, rats, if it wants to eat rabbits, chickens, and so on. You have to be able to do that. I know it's uncomfortable, it's okay, but look at it as food for your snake and not as a cute animal. All right, guys, if you have any tips for some of the viewers out there who still are not that comfortable dealing with feeder rodents, just put them right down in the comment section I would absolutely love to hear it please give the video a like if you liked it of course and if you want to see more just hit subscribe on that channel right away thank you guys so much for watching and bye bye